Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Friday, March 29th, 2019. I am the Drunk Poker Roo, and clearly it's beer time. So I went to Great Lakes today after work. I got off work at 3.11. It took me 45 minutes to get to Great Lakes, usually about a half an hour from my work, but that's okay. A little bit of traffic never hurt nobody. I got there, hung out with some great people at Great Lakes. Good to see everybody. It's Friday night. Everybody's excited. Why are we excited? Well, because RoboHop is back. RoboHop is back. That's awesome. But they didn't just release RoboHop today. We'll be hitting the LCBO, so don't panic. You don't have to get to the brewery. You can pick some up. They also released, meanwhile, down in Moxie. And meanwhile, down in Moxie. And they also released Citradiction, which is, they've, they've changed the yeast up on that one. Citradiction. So I got four meanwhile down in Moxie, four Citradictions, and eight RoboHop. Eight, eight, eight. Why? Because it's one of my most favorite beers. Do you hear the birds? It's beautiful out here. It's like 15 degrees. It is insanely beautiful. So damn right we're having a patio pint. I got all the hops. Who releases three IPAs on Friday? Great Lakes does, I'll tell you that one. Oh, man. I tried a sample at the brewery because, of course, I did. Um, people were, like, streaming in and out buying cases. So that's, I'm like, I mean, I bought eight. That's a lot for me. I don't commit to a beer, but I love this beer. It comes out once a year. I absolutely love it. Down in Moxie, Citra Diction, I'm excited to try it because they, they've tweaked the recipe. But Moxie, remember last year with the shorty cans, those things were flying off the shelves. I absolutely love them. So let's get into the beer because, you know, so the, the numbers first, please. Yes, Pope. It's going to be a, a fun night. 8.5%. Uh, I believe we're sitting 100 IBU. So this is a big... A big beer. A big, I remember having this in the in that bottle years ago. I broke out. Like this this Great Lakes IPA glass is gonna get a huge workout in the next couple of days because oh baby. I mean I might have two robo hops tonight. Maybe three. Th three sounds about right. I mean I don't have to be at work till five thirty. I mean I could probably go to work at six. Um yeah, six. I can I'll sleep in the extra hour. So look at that beautiful orange pour, that thick Great Lakes head for that GLB lacing. Oh, baby. Beautiful tropical. Uh, some pine in there. Passion fruit. I get some grapefruit. It's a pretty big. It's a pretty big. Let's get into it. Cheers, my friends. So... Clear-eyed, clear-eyed here. I love this damn beer. Listen, I love a lot of... Great Lakes makes some wonderful beers. Let's, let's put that aside. Octopus, you know. I mean, Karma Citra. This is my one of my favorite beers. Mm, pumps ass, you know. But why do I love it so much? I love it so much because it is unapologetically hoppy. It is bitter. It is, you know, it's got some pine in there, some evergreen pine, um, lemon, uh, grapefruit... Uh, it's got a nice toasty malt body. Um, it's just a beautiful beer. There's a little bit of heat. Now, this is 8.5%. So this is not, you know, a uh, pound in beer. But honestly, I, I could see this going down quick. Like, it's it's the perfect type of bitter to me. It is. This is not a hazy, juicy beer. I mean, we've got other beers like that. You know, Citradelic is like that. You know, Moxie's fantastic. For me... When you're only going to have one or maybe two beers, it's nice to have a big imperial boozy bastard to kind of slow sip and contemplate why it's so gall darn nice outside. Like, it's absolutely gorgeous. How, how are you not out on the deck? I mean, the grotto's not up, but the deck is still here. I mean, I haven't even got the cushions out for the chairs yet, but this beer, this beer signals that. It's sick because it comes out this time every year. This is a beautiful, beautiful beer. So thank you to my friends at Great Lakes um, for, for the hospitality and, and the beer. And, of course, you know, just everything. I, lo I love you guys a lot. You know that. You know I love you. In my heart. Okay? But, yeah, come on. I mean, this beer is ridiculously good. And it's not, like, overly boozy. Like I said, you get a little bit of heat. But for an Imperial, it drinks like a regular IPA. So 8.5%. Be careful. I told Peter, I'm like, I could drink this all day. And he's all day. I'm like, okay, maybe half a day because I might have to have a nap afterwards. But damn, damn. So, you know, uh, LCBO, LCBO, not LCBO. You got to go to the brewery and visit. But go to the brewery and visit. I mean, they, it's just, they everything looks so beautiful now. You know, go sit at the tap. Enjoy the atmosphere. 
that's half the fun of craft beer. Pick yourself up a new glass, maybe. This one's getting a workout. So cheers, my friends. Welcome back, RoboHop. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. You know, whatever. I I barely remember RoboCop. It's been so many years, but uh, I'm happy. I'm a happy guy. Look for it at your local LCBO. Go to the brewery. Come over here. I'm out the back. I'll see you guys later on. Cheers, my friends, to Great Lakes, RoboHop, Moxie, Citradelic, everything. It's a beautiful night. Cheers. All the damn hops. All of them.